Okay friends, now we are going to learn some new phrases and idioms. Okay, what is an idiom you may ask me? Idioms and phrases are groups of words which can make your spoken English or your written English more effective. Okay, if you incorporate these idioms and phrases, it can uh, give a beautiful picture. Okay, if it's incorporated, it can give a very fluent and very flowery English. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a few commonly used ones. Now the first one, okay, let me write down and you also take down, okay. Idioms and phrases. First we are going to do some idioms and then we will see phrases. First one, at the eleventh hour, at the eleventh hour, at the eleventh hour means at the nick of the time, at the at the nick of the time that is right at that moment okay now i'll just give you a sentence and uh, you'll understand the meaning better when the audience was waiting for the special guest to come The actor Rajinikant appeared at the nick of the time. Okay, now you do you understand the meaning of this? At the eleventh hour, that means at the nick of the time, or I'm sorry, I appeared at the nick at the eleventh hour. Both mean the same. You see always these actors and actresses and uh, politicians and all, they will just appear at the 11th hour. Nobody will come and wait beforehand for a program. So they will all come make their appearance at the right time. That is the nick of the time or at the very moment or at the 11th hour. Okay, do you understand now? Let us go on to the next one. Pull a long face. Pull a long face means to look very sad, very dismal. Okay, we will take down.
natural look. Sad or dismal. Dismal means not looking very happy or cheerful. Okay. Uh, shall we try to make a sentence out of it? When Rita was not allowed to join the excursion party, she pulled a long face. She pulled a long face. That means she looked very sad. When Rita was not allowed to join the excursion party, she pulled a long face. That means she looked very sad. Uh, okay. Man of letters. Next one. Man of letters means a very learned person who has lot of degrees attached to his name. Okay, um, a very literary person. Okay, now shall we see a sentence? Have you heard of uh, Kannadasan? Kannadasan is a great poet or a lyricist. He writes a lot of, he has written a lot of songs. Okay. He is a very uh, literary person. He is very well versed in um, Tamil, Tamil songs. Okay. Uh, Kannadasan is a man of letters. Can you think of another sentence? Dr. Ab uh, J. Abdul Kalam is a man of letters. The, our former president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, is a man of letters. Okay. Um, draw a line. Next one. Draw a line. Fix a limit. You should know where to draw your line means you should know where to fix your limit. Okay, uh, sh shall we have um, like even in your friendship when you have a lot of friends uh, you tend to spend a lot of money isn't it. So, when we spend our money lavishly we should know where to draw a line that is where to fix our limitation. When we are on a spending spree, spending spree means in a time of spending. We should know where to look, where to draw a limit.
see how we are using these idioms and sentences of our own. Next one, nip in the bud. What does this mean? To avoid something in the initial stage itself, cut off at the earliest stage. Okay, now for example, when people start, uh, when people get accustomed to smoking, they have to nip it in the bud. That is, before they become addicted to it itself, they should stop it. Otherwise, it will become a habit and it will be very difficult for them to come out of it. Okay, whenever uh, a bad habit, um, uh, we start getting accustomed to a bad habit, we have to nip it in the bud cut off at an early stage. When Mr. Ram um, got into the habit of of smoking His friend advised him, his friend advised him to nip it in the bud, to nip it in the bud. See now if you see there is nothing to do with the bud or anything, but it means that we have to cut it off at an early age. Like when a, a flower blooms before it blooms itself, we cut it off isn't it. So, before the habit develops, we are cutting it off okay, at an early stage that is what it means. Same way all these idioms that we have done so far, I am going to give you some more. These are only a few that I have given. I will explain. At the 11th hour means 12 hours make 1, uh, I mean 12 um, uh, minutes, I am sorry, 12 hours make half the day. We say 12 hours. Uh, in a clock we have 12 hours, is not it? So, at the 11th hour means at a very late stage, that is at the nick of the time or at a very uh, crucial moment okay that is what 11th hour means here uh, pull a long face means like uh, a cheerful face is always round and bubbly but a long face means a sad face like somebody when they are hurt they pull a long face somebody when they are not allowed to do something they pull a long face so that's what it means to look sad Man of letters, that is a person who has a lot of degrees attached to him, that is a literary person. Literary means a person of great knowledge. Okay? Kannadasan is a man of letters. I told you another example, uh, our former president Mr. AKJ, APJ Abdul Kalam is a man of letters. He is not only a an, um, kind hearted person is also a man of letters ok that is what it means very wise person. Draw a line, fix a limit, we should draw a line even in friendship when we come across some bad people we should draw a line and uh, do not encourage their friendship. When we are in a spending spree we should know where to draw a line. Sometimes uh, all this 
ఆడితాలు బడి దీపావళి ఆఫర్స్ అండ్ క్రిస్మస్ బోనస్ అండ్ ఆల్ దాట్ వెన్ డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ టైమ్ వెన్ వీ గో ఫర్ షాపింగ్ ఆల్ ద షాప్స్ విల్ కమ్ అవుట్ విత్ ఆల్ డిస్కౌంట్ సేల్ అండ్ ఆల్ సో వీల్ సే డిస్కౌంట్ సేల్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు బై వీ హ్యావ్ టు బై బట్ వీ షుడ్ నో వేర్ టు డ్రా అ లైన్ జస్ట్ బికాస్ యూ ఆర్ గివింగ్ అన్ ఆఫర్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ గో అండ్ స్పెండ్ ఆల్ ద మనీ వీ షుడ్ నో వేర్ టు కట్ వేర్ టు స్టాప్ ఓకే దట్స్ వాట్ వెన్ వీ ఆర్ ఆన్ అ స్పెండింగ్ స్ప్రీ స్పెండింగ్ స్ప్రీ మీన్స్ వీ ఆర్ ఇన్ అ మూడ్ టు స్పెండ్ ఓకే వీ షుడ్ నో వేర్ టు డ్రా అ లైన్ వేర్ టు డ్రా అ లైన్ ఐ రిటర్న్ లిమిట్ ఓకే వేర్ టు డ్రా అ లైన్ దట్ ఈస్ టు ఫిక్స్ అ లిమిట్ ఓకే ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ నిప్ ఇన్ ది ఇన్ ద బడ్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ టు యూ నిప్పింగ్ ఆఫ్ అ బడ్ బిఫోర్ ఇట్ బ్లూమ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ కట్టింగ్ ఆఫ్ అట్ అన్ అర్లీ స్టేజ్ బిఫోర్ ద హ్యాబిట్ ద బ్యాడ్ హ్యాబిట్ ఫార్మ్స్ వెన్ మిస్టర్ రామ్ గాట్ ఇన్ టు ద హ్యాబిట్ ఆఫ్ స్మోకింగ్ హిస్ ఫ్రెండ్ అడ్వైజ్ హెమ్ టు నిప్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ద బడ్ సో యూ అండర్స్టూడ్ ఆల్ ద ఫైవ్ ఇడియమ్స్ నా very clearly i uh, explained to you now we are going ahead with five more and five more and so on so that you become all beautiful speakers of english language we'll move on to the next five idioms now here from bad to worse from bad to worse means to deteriorate that's what it means okay shall we make a sentence now after her surgery her handwriting her handwriting went from bad to worse or became bad to worse okay now what is the meaning of this after her surgery maybe she was sick and some sometimes when people undergo surgery heart surgery or anything or uh, some surgery for cancer uh, you know the handwriting makes a lot of changes it becomes like a scribble okay after her surgery her handwriting went from bad to worse that is it started becoming bad 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 uh, okay we can't say bad or we, we can say bad to worse it became it started deteriorating the quality of handwriting started deteriorating okay have you understood now next one next one on cloud 9 what is the meaning of on cloud 9 one cloud itself if you uh, go above when you go in an airplane if you see a cloud and if you if the plane goes above you feel so excited but on cloud 9 means to reach the zenith or to reach the heights of happiness okay to reach or to be extremely happy to be extremely happy that's what it means when deepa won the gold medal in 
in the Olympics she was on cloud 9 Okay, now if you win one ordinary medal itself, you will feel so happy. When you win a gold medal in that to in Olympics, how would you feel? That is what now Deepa feels now. Deepa, when Deepa won the gold medal in the Olympics, she was on cloud 9. She was extremely happy. Definitely anyone would be, isn't it? Okay. Next one, what we are going to see is um, uh, thicken when uh, to make ends meet. To make ends meet. To um, what shall we say? To make ends meet means to make. Uh, things work together smoothly okay what can we say uh, especially we'll say about money okay to manage a financial problem Okay, to manage a financial problem better. Sometimes when uh, the father goes to work and the money that he gets is not sufficient enough for the children's education and their needs, then the mother also goes to work, isn't it? So to make a both ends meet, um, to make ends meet or to make both ends meet, you can say anything, okay, both are idioms, both ways you can say, to make, to make ends meet or to make both ends meet, that is to manage a financial problem. In order to make both ends meet, uh, Mrs. Rupa had to go to work, okay. in order to make both ends meet. Mrs. Rupa had to take up a job. Okay. So, in order to make both ends meet, Mrs. Rupa had to take up a job. Do you, have you understood now? The next one. Okay. Uh, next one what we are going to do is call her face to mind okay call her face to mind that means to recollect or to try to remember Sometimes when you use all these idioms, uh, you get a better impression, you make a better impression on the person whom you are talking to. Even when you go for an interview or when you talk, when you are introduced in a party, you can make use of all these idioms when you talk. So they, uh, they will have a lasting impression of you, they will have a better opinion of you. 
Okay, to call a face to mind means to recollect. Now, for example, when Janani met her school friend after 20 years after 20 years if you meet they would have changed isn't it so you won't remember the you'll forget the names she had to she had to call her face to mind okay now she is meeting already she is meeting her school friend after 20 years why should she call her face to mind the face that she would have seen 20 years ago if she brings to mind only she will remember her name so she is trying to recollect her name by bringing her face to mind how she looked 20 years ago okay so that's what it means to call your face to mind or call somebody's face to mind means to recollect okay have you understood the meaning now when janani met her school friend after 20 years she had to call her face to mind okay next one um, matter of concern matter of concern here uh, I have an underline what is the meaning of matter of matter of concern a very important matter to be considered A very important situation. Okay. The heavy rains. brought in brought in a lot of floods which became a matter of concern for the people which became a matter of concern for all the people okay the heavy rains brought in a lot of floods which became a matter of concern for all the people. People started worrying about uh, what to, as to what to do. A very important situation uh, which has to be tackled. Uh, a very important situation to be tackled I will write. To be tackled. Okay. Now, do you understand? It's clear, I think. We'll check all the um, words, the idioms now. From bad to worse, that means to deteriorate. After her surgery, her handwriting went from bad to worse. Okay. So next one on cloud nine, to be extremely happy. 
when deepa won the gold medal in the olympics she was on cloud 9 that is she was extremely happy to make ends meet or to make both ends meet means to manage a financial crisis or financial problem we can even say crisis here okay to manage a financial problem or crisis in order to make both ends meet mrs rupa had to take up a job that is when uh, more money is required in the family uh, the mother also decides to take up a job next one to call her face to mind means to recollect recollect means to try to remember okay when janani met her school friend after 20 years she had to call her face to mind she had to recollect or she had to remember all the situations that they had 20 years ago and then she uh, tried to remember her name next one matter of concern concern means something something which has to be tackled a situation a very important situation to be tackled okay the heavy rains brought in a lot of floods which became a great matter of concern for all the people you if you want you can became a great matter of concern for all the people now have you understood practice all these idioms that i am giving you with making uh, mean trying to make more sentences only then you will be fluent in your speech okay now so far we have learned 10 we are going to learn more the next you we just saw 10 idioms and uh, the meanings of it and the sentences now we are going to see five more and i'm going to give you a lot more of it so that you become well versed in it okay now uh, let's go on with told him flat what is the meaning of this told him this will be 11th one okay this means uh, express the opinion directly okay uh, to express opinion directly okay now in case uh, you don't like something you just tell that person directly that is called um tell to tell him flat okay um Uh, shall we say uh, how can we make a sentence like when when uh, his partner when mr ragu's partner was trying to cheat him trying to cheat him in business he told him flat that he would not do would not work with him okay do you understand now when mr ragu's partner was trying to cheat him in business he told him flat that he would not work with him that is directly 
to the point. Express opinion directly. Told him flat. So, have you understood the meaning of this? Next one, what we are going to do is tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade means the, the expertise of doing something, the tricks of the trade. expertise the expertise of doing business or the expertise of um, um, running a, uh, running a company or even politics anything The expertise of doing anything. Um, Ravi did not do well in his um, business as he did not know the tricks of the trade. Ravi could not fare better. in leather business because he did not know the tricks of the trade. See anything you do like whether you are in politics or whether you are in business, whether uh, whatever you do, you should know the tricks of the trade. Like you cannot be a fool and accept things and uh, I mean you will become a loser, isn't it? So you should know the tricks of the trade. I hope you have understood the meaning now. Okay. Next we shall go to uh, holds good. Holds good means valid, valid at the time of discussion. Next one, a clean slate. What has a slate got to do with somebody's life? Uh, having no discredit. What is the meaning of this? Having no discredit. That is having no blemish or discredit or in somebody's uh, character. Okay. Mr. Manoj has been has been working has been working for nearly twenty years. And his and he has a
Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Manoj has been working for nearly 20 years and he has a clean slate to his credit. That is, he does not have any um, raw, bad comments in his black mark in his character at all. Or we can say Mr. Manoj uh, is a sincere employee. He has had a clean slate for 20 years. Okay, we can say that way also. Okay, so that is the meaning. Okay, next one what we are going to see is at the helm. What is a helm? Helm is a um, structure in a ship where the captain always keeps uh, main the, in control the ship and he is at the helm. At the helm means in full control. Okay. In full control. Shall we see a sentence for it? Um, Mr. Jacob, Mr. Jacob owns owns an industry. And he is always <coughs> he is always at the helm. Okay. Mr. Jacob owns an industry he, and he is always at the helm means he is always in full control of the um, industry that is what it means. He, he does not allow anybody else to interfere in his industry or business. Okay? He is always at the helm that is in full control. Okay? Have you understood? Like uh, can you give another sentence uh, with this meaning? Okay. Uh, who is in charge or who is at the helm in your house? Is the father or the mother at the helm? Okay, we can just say my father uh, is always at the helm in our at or at home. At home, my father is always at the helm. That is, father is in full control of the family. Okay, so now you are, you would have understood how to make it in a sentence. Next one, what we are going to see is feel the pinch. Pinch means pinching like this. To feel the pinch means to feel the effect, the adverse effect of something. Feel the pinch means feel the adverse <clears throat> adverse effect of uh, or adverse or unpleasant effect in one's standard of living. Okay, adverse means unpleasant also you can substitute, feel the unpleasant effect of one's standard of living. Um, owing to the steep rise in prices of vegetables and uh, food items, people living on pension feel the pinch. Owing to, owing to.
owing to the steep rise in the prices of vegetables and other food items the people living on pension feel the pinch that is retired people okay just i'll read out feel the pinch means feel the adverse effect of one's standard of living owing to the steep rise in prices steep means very sharp rise in prices of vegetables and other food items the people or the old people living on pension feel the pinch that is they feel the adverse effect of the standard of living okay now shall we go through all the five that we have learnt now told him flat means express opinion directly when mr ragu's partner was trying to cheat him in business he told him flat that he would not work with him okay when somebody is cheating you tell them directly no i will not work with you you are trying to cheat me so to tell flatly means to express your opinion directly okay the tricks of the trade the expertise of doing anything the tricks of the trade means the expertise of doing anything ravi could not fare better in leather business because he did not know the tricks of the trade only when you know the expertise like suddenly you want to do some business or do some other work without knowing it you will be an utter failure so you should know the tricks of the trade you should have an expertise of doing that particular trade okay next a clean slate having no discredit that is having no black mark in your character mr manoj has been working for nearly 20 years and he has a clean slate to his credit that is he has no bad remarks uh, on him at all he has been a very sincere worker for 20 years at the helm that means in full control mr jacob owns an industry and he's always at the helm he doesn't allow anybody else to interfere in his uh, business or his factory to feel the pinch that means to feel the adverse effect or the unpleasant effect of one's standard of living owing to the steep rise in prices of vegetables and other food items the people living on pension feel the pinch okay have you understood all the five idioms now i'm sure you're going to make use of all this in your speeches and your written work next we are going to see five more uh, idioms and you're going to learn better english now okay the next one is in the pink of health this will be um how many have we finished 15 16th one <clears throat> in the pink of in very good health condition
okay in the pink of means in very good health condition although Raji's uh, father is more than more than eighty years of age. He is in the pink of health in the pink of health in not in the pink of he is in the pink of health in the pink of means in very uh, healthy condition or in a very good uh, health condition or in a very healthy condition or I will just write in a very good health condition. In a very good health condition. Although Raji's father is more than 80 years of age, he is in the pink of health okay you understood next one put on airs what does it mean put on airs means to show off to exhibit um, too much of uh, to show that somebody is very uh, popular or somebody is very well off to behave in an unnatural way to impress others okay to behave to behave in an unnatural way to impress others Okay, this is the meaning of putting on airs. Okay. Let us see how we can make it in a sentence of our own. Um, somebody who, uh, uh, who wants to show off. Okay. Though, I mean, in spite of. of coming from a poor family um, Savitri puts on airs to get the goodwill of of her classmates sometimes uh, children in the class they just want to impress the others. So, they will say, oh, I have this, I have that, my dad bought me um, so many things, my mother made so many things at home and all that, just to impress or just to get the goodwill of their classmates or their friends at work. They simply keep telling, exo uh, I mean, made up stories, okay. So, they behave in an unnatural way to impress others which is not necessary at all okay so this is called 
putting on airs. Um, to give him a piece of my mind, like to give a piece of mind, to give a piece of mind. to advise when somebody goes wrong okay my dad Gave my brother a piece of his mind when he started coming home late. Coming home late every day. Okay. My dad gave my brother a piece of his mind when he started coming home late every day. That is to advise. To advise him not to do such a thing. Okay, uh, next one at loggerheads. At loggerheads. That means always having a difference of opinion. Having Differences of opinion. Okay, one when one person says something, the other person will say just the opposite of it. When one person wants to do something, the other person wants to do something else. So, logger heads means having differences of opinion the captain and the vice captain of the cricket team are always at loggerheads. Okay. The captain and the vice captain of the cricket team are always at loggerheads means having differences of opinion. Okay, it need not be only between the captain and the vice captain, it can even be uh, you and your brother or you and your boss or you and your wife, anybody can be at loggerheads. Okay, the next one uh, what we are going to see is a bolt from the blue. A bolt from the blue. What does it mean? A sudden, um, a sudden uh, shocking news.
Okay. Now, actually the literal meaning of this uh, um, it came this uh, idiom came from the literal meaning a bolt from the blue that is when it rains what happens there is thunder and lightning is not it. So, we call uh, this lightning which when we look from afar in the blue sky sometimes we see a, uh, um, a stream of lightning coming uh, like falling across is not it like a flash of light coming out from the blue sky. So, that means after the lightning comes the thunder. So, after uh, this uh, a bolt from the blue this always comes with a bad news ok like a sudden death of someone or the sickness of someone it comes it came as a bolt from the blue means it came as a shocking news to us ok that is what it means a bolt from the blue means a sudden sudden shocking news a sudden shocking news the death of of Sita's father came as a bolt from the blue. Sita's father was alright till next uh, till the previous week and suddenly when the news comes that uh, he is no more it is a shocking news. So, the death of Sita's father came as a bolt from the blue a sudden shocking news. Now, shall we see all the idioms now in the pink of in very good health condition. Although Raji's father is more than 80 years of age, he is in the pink of health. So, old people they usually um, they start uh, becoming older, weaker, wearier and all that, but he is in the pink of health that means he is very hale and hearty that is another idiom hale and hearty means in the pink of health. Uh, usually people after 40 years itself they get BP, cholesterol, uh, sugar that is diabetes and uh, arthritis this and that, but uh, this person that is Raji's father is in the pink of health <coughs> in very good health condition <coughs> excuse me. Now, next one put on airs to behave in an unnatural way to impress others. In spite of coming from a poor family, Savitri puts on airs to get the goodwill of her classmates. Just to impress others, she keeps on telling a lot of lies and she pretends as though she is from a rich family. To give a peace of mind, to advise when somebody goes wrong. My dad gave my brother a peace of his mind when he started coming home late every day ok. When he started coming home late every day my dad gave him a piece of uh, my brother a piece of his mind ok. Next one at loggerheads that means having differences of opinion. The captain and the vice captain of the cricket team are always at loggerheads. Next one a bolt from the blue a sudden shocking news I told you like a lightning appearing in a blue sky. The death of Sita's father came as a bolt from the blue ok. Have you understood now? all these idioms you have to use it in sentences of your own only then you will practice and you will master the language.